Hey guys, welcome back to That Modern Dude, your home for tech and modern lifestyle videos. Today we're going to take a little look at Plex and kind of help you guys out with a little feature they've got implemented. It's not active by default. I reckon it's a really cool feature to help organize your movie collection. So let's get into the video. All right, so we all know Plex. I've done a few videos on it in the past. It's a uh, movie and TV show or media collection organizing software, and it works pretty much across every device out on the market today. TVs, game consoles, laptops, smartphones, you name it, you can watch your library on it. Um, and one of the things that always annoyed me about Plex is the way it sorted your movie collection. We use let's say Harry Potter for an example, if you wanted to watch Harry Potter, it would list all the movies out in an, you know, in order, which is fine, but coming from using XBMC, which was very popular a few years ago, it would categorize all those movies into one collection. So you type in Harry Potter and you get all the movies just by themselves, open that and you got them in their own little folder essentially. And it looked really good. And that was great for sorting large movie collections such as Harry Potter or Star Wars, any sort of movie series that has multiple episodes in it. Now Plex did update their software oh, I think six months ago now but it isn't active by default so we're gonna jump on to the server and I'm gonna show you how to activate this feature. Alright so this is my Plex server and just so you can see what I'm talking about. So what we want to do is we want to create a movie folder. I'm just gonna like this, see how we've got Harry Potter there, and when I click on that, it's got all the movies there in order, which is, you know, how we kind of want to sort our movie library. Whereas at as default, we'll go, and I've got another example here, Fast and the Furious. You can see that the Fast and the Furious movies are all lined up and they're not in order. And, you know, that's fine. But when you've got a large movie collection, it's nice to condense it as much as possible. So step number one is you have to go over to your movie library menu. And you want to go to edit and you're going to have in advance a section for collections. Now as default, it's disabled. And then you've got two other options here. So hide items which are in collections is what I've got selected now. That's where it hides your movies and just shows the collection. And then you've got the other option, which is going to show both at the same time, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I just hide the movies and have it show the collection. So we click that. That's the first thing we do and we go save. Okay. And so next step is to get it into one folder. We wanna, we're going to do Fast and the Furious as an example here because we've got a few movies and it's just a lot easier to do because it's here. So we want to grab the first movie, doesn't matter which one, because we've got to set up the collection first. So you want to edit the movie, go to tags, and then you can see here we've got that collections option down here. It's a bit tedious, but you know what, it works. So you type in the fast and the furious, or whatever like you want to name it, and then you have to click here. See so how it add the fast and furious? So you add it. Now it sorts it via that collection. We go save, simple. Go to the next movie, Fast and Furious 6, we edit and go to Tags, Collections. This time when we type in the Fast and the Furious, you can see that it just pops up. Click on that, save. And you can see now we've got two movies in that collection. And then, you know, you just go along and we'll just quickly do it for the rest. All right, so now that we've done adding those to the collection, you can see now that we've got this just one folder, which is nice and neat. So when you search in your movie and you go to F, you got Fast and Furious, click on that, and we got all our movies, and they are in perfect chronological order because in the normal movie collections menu, it will sort movie by name. That's generally how it goes, so it'll be alphabetical. The problem is there with multiple movies like this is it's not gonna secondary sort it via release year. So you're gonna get it out of order like I had before where Too Fast, Too Furious was right at the top of the library, and the rest were down via the X. This is great because the collection sorts it chronologically by year. So all you do is you add them to the Fast and the Furious and you got them all in order there and you can play and all play through that collection if you wanna binge it. Um, and you can also edit the artwork if you want to for this collection. 
um, if you've got artwork there for it. Otherwise, it's just gonna use the multiple DVD covers there. Anyway, guys, that was just a really quick video, a quick tip on how to get movie collections working inside your Plex library. Hopefully you found this video informative. Drop a like down below if that is the case. And if you like Plex videos, drop a comment down below on any other sort of features you might want to see a video on. I'm happy to do one. Subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.